With the threat of rain, you just heard Brad's forecast. It's very, very likely. Uh, now the big question, what to do with your little trick-or-treaters? You know, kids wait all year for Halloween, so how can they get their candy fixed and stay dry? Yeah, parents, don't panic. We have some answers. Let's send it over now to NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lundberg at the Big Board to find out where you can get those treats and stay dry. So I've been scouring social media. A lot of people are talking about the possibility of rain and storms on Halloween and what they're going to do instead of trick or treating. You don't want your kids to be bummed or miss out on, on the fun. So a lot of face groups are talking about some alternative plans. So wherever you live, you can check those out. Definitely look at churches, malls, senior homes, local organizations. They may have some indoor options, some communities. I've even seen this talking about possibly trick or treating on Friday instead of Thursday if there's severe storms or any lightning in your area. I know some indoor events that I've seen on social media just to mention here. Joy Church and Matthews, they're going to have indoor games and candy if that's in your neck of the woods. Ebenezer Baptist Church and Indian Trail, they are willing to move their trunk or treat indoors if necessary, but right now it's still scheduled for outdoors. Also a couple other places to keep in mind if you're looking for some indoor options just as a backup plan. Monroe Crossing Mall, Concord Mills, they've got stuff going on. Also Senior Homes is a good option and I saw at Culver's a restaurant they're having a costume contest and your kids they even get a discount on their meal so just make sure that you stay with us as we continue tracking the weather make sure you have our app handy and you keep on with our newscast throughout the rest of the evening of course tomorrow we're gonna have a better track of that timeline guys Yep, and just as Rachel said, make sure you stay with us on air, online, and inside our mobile app as we track the chances for rain this Halloween. You can also find Brad's latest forecast on our Facebook and Twitter pages.